First thing we're going to do is decide on your concept or how the eye will move through the canvas. Then we'll mass in our subject matter. Get an apple masked in first. And then we'll put the grapes, mass in the grapes in relation to the apple. As we put our shadows on, we want them, we want to try to keep them as a single unit. One single shadow shape. Once we have our shadow, we can make sure our background is weaker than our shadow. This will cause the background to recede or go back. Also keeping the outside edges of the background soft will help it recede and the subject matter advance or come forward. <clears throat> if we put a little air right at this point in the apple, that'll cause that point to recede and then that shoulder to come forward once we get some color on it. Next we'll start putting in our tabletop. I'm going to put my tabletop in relation to that background, um, but we want it light enough so that that apple seems lit up. And we can adjust it as we want, a little darker, richer up front, and lighter, grayer as we recede. And then we also don't want a hard edge between the back of the table and our background, so we're going to make sure that those two masses meet in a very soft way again so that our eyes can focus on our subject matter and not the edge of the tables get some color on the apple starting with the shoulder notice how I'm treating the paint on the apple quite different than I did the background a little air open that up to the outside lighter grayer as it goes back a little darker and richer in the midpoint of the apple, a little blanched out there. Our highlight will happen on the corner. We'll deposit the paint, the, the paint and then tie it back to what's underneath. <clears throat> a little bit of halo and we want to get that background so that it matches the apple at that point to where we can get in and out of that apple very easily. And again, I'm really working that paint in the background with plenty of medium. And I correct the color on that shadow. Notice the value's the same. I'm just changing the color a bit. Softening that edge. We'll pick up a little background again and put some air right in there. Open the edge up right there. going to start with our grapes, our dark element in this particular painting. We just want an interesting shape. The function of those grapes are just going to be to hold some tiny highlights. Get one more grape up here out front. We'll highlight a couple of grapes to help the eye move through the canvas. And then again, we'll either come back and soften the edges on those. As we do the background in shadow, what I want to place that background so it's very close to those grapes. It'll add uh, a lot of mystery. And then we'll have to tie that shadow of the background into the light of the background. And so we walk those colors that way. And we just push the paint around so that we go from dark to light a very quiet way, no hard edges. We'll do the same on the foreground on the table. Go from the shadow on the table to the light on the table. Again, pushing the paint around how we need it. If we want something to look, adding a little transparency there to the grape, Softening those edges. If we 
want that grape to look lit up, we can make the table that it's sitting on look lit up. That'll help cause that grape to look like there's more light hitting it. Again, I'm going to soften those outside edges so they don't take away from the subject matter. Going to continue with our orange run that we started with the transparency in the grape. Work some of that into the background as we sculpt the stem of that apple. Again, softening those interior edges. A little reflected light. Again, working those edges to appropriate. We're going to open up right here in the apple to the table. So we get in and out of our objects. A little warmth or transparency in a couple of these grapes. Add a little cool to the light side of a few of these as well. There you have it.